Welcome back, everyone. 846, and we're asking the attorney your legal questions. Attorney John Heyman is with us this morning. Thank you for being here. Good morning, Keith. So let's get good right to, to see the, you. Yeah, good to see you. Let's get right to the question All here. Right. It comes from Joe H., who says, My brother and his wife were severely burned in an apartment fire and are both now hospitalized. What can I do to assist them as I don't understand why this happened? This sounds like an awful situation. Uh, I, I, I've personally been involved, not personally, but uh, as a professional in ever so many uh, burn victim situations, and they are horrendous. I mean, beyond, beyond belief, all right? Because, you know, you've heard of first degree burns, that's minor, insignificant, second degree mur uh, burns, relatively so. But can you believe, and most people think it stops at third degree burns, but there's actually fourth, fifth, and sixth degree burns as well. So you have, when there's a fire, there's a lack of oxygen, and it can do uh, horrendous and tremendous damage so to the we, lungs, to the consciousness. What uh, do we do here? Well, number one, you really truly have to wait for the uh, first responders to come in, uh, the fire department, the uh, EMTs, uh, the police and do their analysis, all right? And one of the problems is that, uh, and I don't fault them for this, but one of the problems when they do their analysis is that they, they, uh, their job is to protect the, the potential victims, get them out, all right? And put out the fire. And in doing so, they may destroy some of the actual evidence, all right? So once that, that's all done, the, the people are out, uh, the and the um, fire is uh, subsides. Now the experts from the uh, fire department come in, and they are specially trained uh, to uh, analyze and assess the nature of the damage. And it's really fascinating because they can see almost like blood patterns when they are, are doing a murder scene. They can do it by the smoke patterns. They can determine uh, the cause of the fire or surmise, all right? Notwithstanding that, when we get involved in a case, we hire our own experts to analyze and assess. And quite frankly, uh, this, uh, fires can oftentimes are due to cooking. Yep. That, that's the predominant reason, uh, or smoking, but it can be due to uh, a lack of, uh, of uh, proper electrical equipment. It can be appliances that have gone wrong. Uh, and of course, you have to look to see whether or not there's a sprinkler system in all the right. building and uh, fire detectors. All okay, right? so preserve that evidence. We appreciate your your stopping by. Well, uh, and I will say this to you: these are lengthy, expensive cases. We've been successful on a number uh, of accounts, and uh, my heart goes out to the family. But uh, you, you need to, you need to get uh, an attorney involved immediately so that we can hire the proper experts to pursue these claims and protect the evidence for All right. you. Some important okay. information. Happy New Year. I want to get to Thank Maggie, you. who's watching the roads. Hi, Maggie. 